Cab Calloway singing the classic Minnie the Moocher song with nonsensical, often improvised vocalizations known as scat singing. Made famous by him and other African American jazz musicians like Louis Armstrong, or Ella Fitzgerald, or more contemporary artists like The Roots. Scatting is a very dynamic form of what's called musical proto-language. In evolutionary biology, musical proto-language refers to the earliest forms of vocalization, an important part of Darwin's theory of language evolution. But before we get into that, did I tell you that Cab Calloway can dance? Man, does that guy get down. So Darwin's theory of language evolution was really important to defend his main theories of evolution against his opponents, who pointed to human language as the deciding factor to debunk Darwin's theories. So Darwin was tasked to introduce language evolution as a key point to his main theory of evolution, just to put down any of his critics before they tried to slam him with their own points about human language. The first stage to Darwin's theory of language evolution is the early human development of cognition suitable to create vocalizations. The development of our brain's capacity to process such a feature like vocalization. The second stage in Darwin's theory of language evolution is the development for the capacity for vocal imitation and to create unique musical cadences, kind of like some mammals sounds. and bird songs, for example. Darwin identified these music-like sounds to be mainly for sexual selection, but also for territoriality and emotional expressions. The third and final stage is the attachment of specific and flexible meanings to vocalizations. Why, they can't do this to me! It's unconstitutional! It's... it's... Brother, could I use 5,000 smackerinis? This is the first step in developing modern human language. Darwin noted that vocal organs would develop more and more to be strengthened and perfected into the vocal organs we have today. You know the guy's oh. name's on the baseball team? Yes. Well, go ahead. Who's on first? Yes. I mean the guy's name. Who? The guy playing first. Who? The guy playing first base. Who? <laughs> the guy on first base. Who is on first? Why are you asking me for? I don't know. So Darwin's theory makes connections to how musical proto-language is important to human evolution and the evolution of how we can communicate today. Darwin recognized the biological capacity for humans to perform complex vocal learning, which is unusual in mammals but shared in many birds. Which is why biologists that study human language evolution use bird songs as a comparison to human language development. To learn more about musical proto-language and bird songs, Check out this talk on our Evo Seminar Series channel by scientist Madza Faria Virgin. Oh, and here's some more Cab Calloway. Howdy, 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 howd